Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So on this video I'm going to show you how I assembled this 6x4 Keta Darwin garden shed. So I've got all the bits and bobs ready laid out to put together in the garden. So first I laid a base, a nice level base, and for that I used some paving slabs. You could also use um, a concrete slab or some kind of decking. So before I started to lay the base of the shed, I just gave uh, the slabs a sweep. The first thing to go down was the uh, plastic base and that came in two sections which interlock in the middle. So once these pieces were interlocked, um, they just went together with some screws to fix them. So once that was done, I could start getting the uh, the panels in. So I've got a corner here. And these pieces just sit into the floor. And there's the back section which slots into the corner piece. And then the back corner again slots into the that central piece. So now starting on the sides, um, the first side panel I'm slotting into that back corner. And then there's a central support brace to go in. And then another panel. So at this point you can just slot everything together without any screws. So just to make sure everything's lined up correctly before you start screwing. And the way the floor is designed makes it much easier to get these pieces up on your own. So now the front corner is going in and being slotted into that panel there.
and the floor helps to keep everything square. Again, another support piece going in. And then the window panel, which I actually changed to the, the back section later on. And you can see there it's at the back now. So now the, uh, the last corner section going on. So now all those panels when they were all lined up, um, I screwed them all together with many screws. And this would keep all the panels in position so that I could then carry on building the shed. So now I'm putting in some front braces for the door frame. And now I need to assemble the uh, the front roof section. And that just goes together with a couple of screws, three screws. And that just slots into those metal uh, door supports. And then I just needed to screw all these together. And then I worked on the, the back roof support. And again, just connected it with a couple of screws. And that just slotted on in a similar way. and screwed into position. One good thing about a plastic shed is they go up really quick compared to say a metal shed or a wooden shed. So now I'm putting these like gutter rails in and these help to hold uh, the roof panels into position. So now there's some metal supports to go into the centre on either side. And these just screw into the supports behind them. So now I'm going to add the uh, roof beam. and uh, screw it onto those top roof supports. These screws have a rubber washer to stop any water getting in. So 
So now it was time to put the roof panels on and these just slide into position. It can be a little bit fiddly on your own but um, you get there in the end, it's not too difficult. So once they've snapped into place, um, you push them up into the roof support and then snap them down into place and uh, drive these larger screws in which uh, hold it all firm together. So then it was time to work on the door and the door is just uh, another side panel but it has uh, supports going all the way around it to keep it rigid. So there's a top and bottom plastic support and then there's two side metal supports. And once they're all snapped into position, they just need to be screwed in place. And then it was time to put the handle on. And this screws through into metal, so it's a nice tight fit. And there you can see it working. So now the main structure is complete. Um, there's these large screws that you need to drill into the bottom of the, um, the floor and it goes through into all the framework and holds everything nice and tight together. And then the last thing to do was to assemble the window. So the frame just pops into the panel. And then uh, I removed the protective covering from the plastic window. And that just slots into place. And then the back frame just screws into the front frame. time to do the grand tour of this miniature shed as I say it's just for storage it's only a six by four so um, let's start off with the window um, just a small window just the one this window can be added to any of the side panels and also to the door because they're all the same so that's your choice coming around we've got the door so this lock uh, this latch can be added to either side you can have the door swinging from right to left so I have it opening towards the fence here. So as we go in, we've got the, the floor here and we have the window and some ventilation at the back. And this kind of area is the main area where I'm gonna use for storage. And in a future video, I'm gonna add some racking, some wooden racking to this. 
that's where I'm going to store most of my stuff because I'd like to keep my workshop clear and coming around nice little apex roof good head height and uh, another ventilation at the front so that's about it for this video guys as you can see the shed is now up and it's ready for me to start putting my uh, bits and bobs and garden stuff in so if you found this video useful please remember to like the video and also comment and uh, also consider subscribing as well for more DIY related videos so as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>